Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, Mr. Tony from Mr. Tony's Typhoons. It is 9.45 in the morning here. I'm reporting as usual from my front garden in Two Moon in Hong Kong. It is the 16th of September 2018 and we are closely monitoring the arrival or <clears throat> very close passing by of uh, Sevilla. Typhoon Mankut, as I mentioned before, it's been downgraded from a super typhoon to a severe typhoon. Severe typhoon still means that winds of 125 kilometers per hour can be expected. And um, <clears throat> just to underline that fact, uh, the HKO has just um, issued the T10 warning. Uh, the T10 warning is uh, hurricane, hurricane winds. And um, that means winds uh, in excess of 115 kilometers an hour are currently hitting the territory. And I could see, um, again, very difficult to see in the video. Again, I've sort of been sheltered by uh, these houses and the winds are coming from the east. So while I'm not getting a lot of wind here, just down there, I can see the winds going in that, that direction. So they're easterlies and uh, we have a web forum in uh, Hong Kong called Geo Expat and um, I've also been looking on Facebook and friends of mine over on the east side of the territory are saying they, they're already getting trees down and they're already um, experiencing those sustained winds which we are not yet but I can feel that they are very close. Um, wasn't expecting the T10 till lunchtime so I don't know if that's a harbing error of a, a lot worse to come or don't know yet but anyway let's get on and have a quick look at the um, commentary from the HKO so we'll start with the, the movements so the latest tropical cyclone warning bulletin by the HKO Hong Kong Observatory hurricane signal number 10 was issued at 9:40 a.m. this means that winds with mean speed mean speeds of 118 kilometers sorry I said 115 before 118 kilometers per hour or more are expected. Uh, at 10 a.m. severe typhoon Mankook was sent at about 150 kilometers southeast of Hong Kong uh, and forecast to move uh, west-northwest at about 30 kilometers per hour towards the coast of western Guangdong. Mankook continues to move steadily towards the coast of western Guangdong edging further closer to Hong Kong with a high threat. According to the present forecast, track Mankook will be closest to the Pearl River Delta. And as I said before, the Pearl River Delta, Pearl River is the river that um, is between Hong Kong and Macau. Um, just so you can have some reference there. Um, so Mankook will be closest to the Pearl River Delta around noon time today, so lunchtime, skirting about 100 kilometers to the south of Hong Kong. The hurricane signal number 10 will remain in force for a few hours, which makes sense. Um, yeah. The circulation of Mankut is extensive and the winds are fierce. Mankut's intense rain bands are affecting Hong Kong, bringing frequent squalls and heavy rain. Sea will be phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Fierce winds and phenomenal swells. Incredible. Okay. Um, local winds will change gradually from northeast winds to easterlies, which I think is is already happening. I can still feel a few gusts at my back, which are northeasterly. So then over there, I can see I can see um, the direction of the very old-fashioned uh, weather vane. I use the trees, but it works. It's a kind of science. Um, right, areas which were previously sheltered may become exposed. So obviously those easterlies won't expose me, but. Um, when it swings around to the uh, to the south a bit more, we will, we will be exposed then. Um, under the influence of the storm surge, a high water level of about three and a half meters or more, uh, four meters at Tayo, and um, the observatory makes a special appeal to members of the public to stay away from the shoreline and not to engage in water sports. So I hope that none of you are going out surfing today or anything like that. I'll just put my iPad down. 
just have a quick look. I'm not venturing much further than my front door today. Um, yeah. So let's see if I can just pan around and show you how it looks. So you can see the trees hardly moving. And again, that's because we've got the shelter of uh, the houses from the Easterlies. But if you look down there, you might get some focus on those ones that are further away. Maybe you can see, it's quite difficult to see, maybe you can see the rain flowing quite quickly. And it's quite difficult anyway, but the wind is uh, blowing that way. Those, those easterly, so yeah, we're still quite sheltered. You can see over to the Gold Coast. Might be able to see a bit of movement down there. But yeah, again, we're really waiting for that swing, swing to the south, or the south, especially the southwesterlies, where we'll really feel some wind, and that should be closer to lunchtime. So another two hours or so. And uh, in the meantime, um, make sure you check out our live stream and I'll just show you that that's just coming from uh, that iPad on the window ledge in my city room and uh, yeah uh, please uh, be sure to subscribe like and share if you enjoy our videos it really really helps us and stay safe and uh, particularly for those who are in the path of this storm uh, please do take it seriously. Um, I know last night was a bit of a, a letdown. Uh, the HKO were giving us the impression that we were going to be destroyed last night. And I was out walking my dog at 3 o'clock this morning. But um, take it seriously. I think at lunchtime we're going to have gales pretty much all over the territory. And uh, yeah, stay safe. Enjoy the storm. And I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.